Good morning students. Let's start with the first chapter of English literature that is The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle by Arthur Conan Doyle. Before we move into the chapter, let's learn something about the writer. Arthur Conan Doyle was born in Edinburgh, Scotland. He was a novelist and writer of detective and science fiction. His famous detective Sherlock Holmes and his friend Dr. Watson are immortal characters. Immortal character means living forever. The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle follows Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson as they hunt down the people involved in stealing a blue gem. What is a blue gem here? Carbuncle is name of a diamond that is the blue gem they are talking about that was discovered in a goose let's start with the chapter christmas has just passed when uh, dr watson goes to baker street to see sherlock holmes on his arrival he finds his friend thinking over a battered hat battered hat means damaged by repeated use uh, brought to him by a commissioner named Peterson. Commissioner means a uniformed door attendant. It came into his possession when Peterson witnessed a scuffle in the street. The victim dropped both his hat and his Christmas goose. He has brought them to Sherlock Holmes so that they might be returned to their owner as Peterson had no clue as to work out his identity for the man fled after the attack. However, Holmes thinks it unlikely that the owner will be found and sends Peterson home to cook the goose. But the man returns and produces the blue carbuncle that is the blue gem, claiming that it was found inside the bird. Naturally, Holmes realizes that there is a larger mystery here and sets off to discover what it is. The very stone stolen from the Countess of Morker a few days ago at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. John Horner, a plumber who was working at the hotel, was accused of the theft and arrested on the testimony of James Ryder, the chief of staff. Holmes publishes an ad in the newspaper to find Mr. Henry Baker. Holmes figures Baker will definitely reply to this ad because he's a poor man and he probably really regrets dropping his goose and hat in a moment of fright over breaking that shop window. Baker explains that he didn't try to look for the lost bird and hat because he was certain he wouldn't be able to get them back and that the thugs who assaulted him probably stole his stuff too. Baker shows no interest in recovering the original throat or feet of the bird when Holmes offers them to him. So he clearly has no idea that a blue diamond was stuffed into the neck of his goose. Baker knows nothing of the crime but he does know where he bought his goose. Holmes then manages to use this information to trace the bird all the way to Mrs. Oakshot at Brixton Road. The guy who sold Mrs. Oakshot's geese to Henry Baker is named Brickenridge. He is in the middle of an argument with a small man who is asking about Mrs. Oakshot's geese. Brickenridge is getting really annoyed at all these people asking about Mrs. Oakshot and refuses to talk to the little guy too. This little guy is James Ryder, an employee of the hotel Cosmopolitan. Later, Ryder confesses that the Countess maid told him about the stone. Uh, he says that he invented something for Horner, that was the plumber, to do in the Countess room and then once Horner leaves, Ryder and the maid, Countess maid, go through her jewels and have Horner arrested for the crime. Once Horner is arrested, Ryder runs away from the hotel at once. The thing is, Ryder hasn't planned this thing very well. So now that he has the jewel, he doesn't actually know what to do with it. Ryder goes to his sister's place. Do you remember Mrs. Oakshot, the original goose seller? Where he can lay low for a little while and think of what to do. Ryder wants to fence the stone. 
Ryder sees his sister's flock of geese out back and has a brilliant idea. He will stuff the jewel down the throat of one and since his sister promised him a bird for Christmas, he will use its body as a kind of jewelry case for transporting the stone. His sister, that is Mrs. Oakshot, lets him pick out a bird. Ryder managed to feed the stone to one of the geese, but it escaped from him and when he came to leave, he picked up the wrong bird. When he took the goose to his contact, there was no sign of the stone inside it. Ryder, what did Ryder do after that? Ryder raced back to his sister's house only to find that the birds had gone to the dealers. That was Mr. Breckenridge. When he went to question Mr. Breckenridge, he was spotted by Sherlock Holmes. And thus, Sherlock Holmes succeeded to trace back the history of the goose until the provider and finds James Ryder, the real thief of the story. Ryder also tried to recover the goose from Mr. Baker by troubling him by hoodlamps. They are the rough men uh, who attacked Mr. Baker but when they saw Mr. Peterson in uniform, they all were frightened and they ran away. So this was how Mr. Peterson brought the goose to Sherlock Holmes. This was the whole story. Hope you have understood this. Stay tuned for more videos and do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.